Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Amanda. This is a beauty vlog slash, I don't know. I don't know what you would call it. It's a beauty channel. I um, review products. I do some makeup tutorials, um, some first impressions, things like that. And I do post twice a week. And occasionally I'll throw in a bonus video here or there. So welcome to my channel. And today's video is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing. And I'm doing it a little differently this time. Um, I'm actually wearing the products. And so I'm going to give you like a little mini review to go along with the unboxing instead of just showing you a bunch of new products that I know literally nothing about. So yay! If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel before you leave. And yeah, if you want to see what I got in this month's box, then keep on watching. Okay, for those of you who may not know what BoxyCharm is, it is a monthly subscription service, a makeup subscription, that you get four to five full-size beauty products every month um, for $21 a month. And it is the most amazing, in my opinion, subscription service, hands down, period. Like, I literally would not waste my money on anything else. I just want the BoxyCharm because it's awesome. And this month, we got six full size products. Um, every month there's a little theme and this month's is Boxy Baddie. And on the back of that card it tells you what all is in your box and the retail value for that item, etc, etc. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's in the box. I'm just going to pull out this first product here. This is a ColourPop um, Satin Ultra Satin Lip. This is literally my favorite formula that ColourPop makes. I was so excited to see this in this month's box, especially when I saw that it's nude. Because <laughs> if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that that's where my heart is, you know? My heart is with the nude lipsticks, all the nude lipsticks. Um, this is an Ultra Satin Lip in the color Strip. I love the formula. I love the color. I love the price point. These are $6. You can order them from ColourPop.com. That's color with a U. Um, and they're absolutely amazing. I do not personally like the Ultra Matte Lip from ColourPop because I find that it's too drying and it actually hurts my lips. But this is literally my favorite. It's one of my favorite um, formulas, period. So, yeah. Definitely stoked that this is in the box. The next thing that is in the box is from Bare Minerals. And it is a brush. Okay, check out this brush. It has this little dip right here where you can put your foundation, then dot it onto your face, and then apply it. Now, I will be the first to say that I'm skeptical of all face brushes because none have ever worked for me. And that, my eyeshadows looking a little janky. Anyway, that's what actually inspired me to go ahead and try some of these things out first. Um, this face perfecting brush, it says it lets you adjust your foundation coverage by the drop for a perfectly seamless foundation application. Y'all, this brush is amazing. Literally, it is the first foundation brush that I have ever tried that I love. It does not leave brush strokes on your face. It does not leave behind stray random brush hairs on your face. I literally applied every cream product that I used on my face yesterday and today with this same brush. And I love, I love it. I love it. So, um, and I'm strictly, like, super strictly a, um sponge girl I really am but I love this brush and it's it's fast and like I said it doesn't leave brush strokes and that's a huge deal because most of them do the retail value for this brush is $28 and I think that that is literally worth every penny so I'm I'm super stoked it's in the box I absolutely love it um I will say this I have dry skin normal to dry skin my skin has actually been a little bit more on the normal side lately which is awesome but <clears throat> if you have a lot of texture like acne if you have a lot of acne um and you have dry patches that are flaky i would still recommend not using a brush because when you swirl that up it's just gonna cause more texture on your face as opposed to going in with a sponge that's just my personal little tip you don't have to listen to it you know but 
that that's my personal tip. The next thing in the box is the very much awaited Pure Sorry Diaries. I feel like I got something in my tooth. Anyways, this is an eyeshadow palette. And I've been playing around in it. It has a nice little mirror on it. Um, today I used this color and this color. Um, I will say this. I love the colors. I love the pigmentation. I think that the pigmentation is awesome. I think that the blendability is really good. I think the fallout is insane. So if you're the type of person who is bothered by a lot of fallout, you are not going to like this palette at all because it has a lot. I personally don't mind it because I usually do my eyeshadow first anyway. So it's not that big of a deal to me as long as they're still blendable and usable and everything. But if you are the type that is bothered by a an eyeshadow with a lot of fallout, you're not going to like this. Um, the colors are really pretty though and the retail value for it is $34 and it's saying that the way that it's set up is that you use them like and you use these three colors together these three colors I mean but you know I'm I'm gonna be a rule breaker I'm not gonna follow that but it's cool that it does have it set up that way so you can create you can definitely create multiple full looks with just this palette so that is awesome the next thing in the box is the only thing that I have not actually tried out yet, and it is a um, deep conditioning mask for your hair. And I am super stoked to try it out because if y'all know me, then you know that I color my hair like every other day. Not really, but a lot. And so anything that's going to repair the damage that I do to my hair, I'm all about it. Um, <clears throat> I just didn't have 10 minutes to leave it sitting on my hair, so I haven't tried it out yet. Um, but it does smell really nice. I did do that first thing. Y'all know I'm a scent freak. But it smells really nice, so I will let you guys know how this works. But um, it is $20 retail price, so also awesome that they included in the box. And the last thing in the box I'm currently wearing on my eyebrows. Um, it is this MAC eyebrow crayon um and i don't know if lingering eyebrows i don't think that's the shade maybe the shade is lingering i'm not sure what the shade is on this um but anyways it is an eyebrow pencil by mac it is an 18 dollar retail price self-propelling propelling self-sharpening self and brow divine i can't speak Y'all, I really can talk when I'm not trying to film. I really can. I can say words, and they come out normal all the time. It's just when I sit down to record that all of a sudden I can't do it anymore. Anyway, um, it, it is really... Okay. You see how you roll it up there? It does have a really small little point, so it is very precise. I like that. I like the color payoff because all I basically do is just darken my eyebrows because you can't see them if I don't. Um, what I don't like is that it doesn't have a spoolie on it. And I need a spoolie because my eyebrows are unruly. Now, do I have other spoolies in my makeup bag? Absolutely. But I can tell you that I'm not going to be reaching for this as much because it doesn't have a spoolie on the end of it because I have some that do and they're just quicker. Um... And it's also $18. You can get one from NYX that does have a spoolie on the end of it for like $6. So, would I buy this if it weren't in the box? No. Am I happy it's in the box? Absolutely, because I'll use it. I'll definitely use it. It's just not my favorite. <clears throat> and I don't know if I said that that was the last thing in the box, but it's definitely not the last thing in the box. The last thing in the box, for real, is a loose blush by Studio Makeup. Retail price $35. Has anybody, please comment and let me know, have any of you ever actually paid $35 for a blush? I have not. I would not. I, I just, I can't justify that. Some days I don't even wear blush. $35 for a blush. I mean, so basically I feel like BoxyCharm is allowing me to see how the rich live. You know, when they're just throwing away $35 on a blush and throwing it onto their face. I think that it's really pretty and it does have a shimmer in it. So I will say, first of all, if you're not a fan of a shimmery blush, you're not going to like this because it does have visible shimmer. Um, but for me, I do kind of like it because it's 
gives you the blush and the highlight kind of at the same time, especially when I'm in a hurry. I don't like that it's a loose powder because y'all know how I feel about that. But I do like this the way that they've got it set up because you can completely close it off or open it or open it just a little bit and then just get it out onto the lid and use it that way. So I do like that. I do find that so far it's not as messy as most normal loose powders. So I will use it. I do like it. Would I pay $35 for it? Absolutely not. I just, I personally wouldn't. Now, if you're like, if your thing is blushes, then do it to it, you know? It is really pretty. It's a great color um, and it's a luminous loose blush. I, and it doesn't say a color on it. But anyways, I do think that it is really pretty. I just personally would never pay $35 for a blush. I just wouldn't. So the overall total value for the box is $141 this month. $141 of products for $21. Y'all, it's a win every time. I just, I absolutely love it. So that is everything that I got in this month's box. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you like the try it out kind of mini review type BoxyCharm unboxing better than just unboxing and not knowing anything about the products, leave a comment below. Let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.